when the magic began. Little Blossoming is home to Felicity Wishes and hundreds of other fairies. Some have sparkling wands and beautiful double wings. And some, like Felicity, have single wings and no wand. These are the fairies that are waiting to go to school to learn how to make wishes come true. Every year, Fairy Godmother invites the young fairies to take part in a test to see if they're ready to start school at the end of the summer. For most fairies, including Felicity, it's not like a test at all. It's a magical day filled with fun. There's the tallest test, which they have to jump for. There's the friendship test. There's the magic test, where they have to spin round three times, close their eyes and think of magic. There's the trust test. There's the friendship test. There's the magic test. And the friendship test. And for some others, it's much more serious. You must try to take this more seriously, said Polly to Felicity as she handed her a twig to practice swishing a wand. Felicity looked at the twig and tried hard not to laugh. If you don't, you may be the only one who doesn't pass, said Holly. And you don't, and you want to become a proper fairy, don't you? asked Daisy. Felicity did want to become a proper fairy, so the day before the test she began to practice. But how do you know it's going to work? asked Holly as she eyed the bag of super strength flying powder. I've got to learn to trust that it will make me fly higher, said Felicity uncertainly. <laughs> uncertainly. She was just about to sprinkle the flying powder onto her wings when she stopped to wave to Polly and Daisy and accidentally covered Holly with the powder. Clouds bubbled up, stars filled the air and Holly shot high into the sky with a fizzing, whizzing bang. Beep, diddly, odin, boden, bodo, scritch, dutch, in dutton, ish, bibbly, op, and gob, and boo, and bar, and dig, and dog, and barish. Esther weenie, shallow weenie, o-r, lee, walla, weenie. What a disaster, well, Felicity. I was trying to practice trust, and all I did was lose my friend. Quick, you'll have to use magic to find her, urged Polly, pulling out a book of true wishes from her bag. Felicity knew she was no good at magic, but Holly was one of her best friends. The magic book was very old and dusty. The words were difficult to say. And as Felicity read out the last line, the whole sky suddenly turned.
dark. Trillions of tiny stars twinkled all around the fairy friends. They looked down to find that they were miles above the ground. This was worse than before, burst out Felicity. I tried to practice trust. I lost one friend, and I tried to practice magic, and I've lost all of us. Don't worry, said Daisy, giving Felicity a big hug. There's always friendship. You're right, said Felicity, suddenly feeling confident. True friends are never far apart. And as if by magic, the night stars disappeared and a golden glow suddenly burst into the sky. Holly, Felicity, Polly and Daisy shouted happily all at once. Where have you been? Fairy Godmother, they gasped when they noticed who was flying behind. Felicity knew she was going to be in trouble. In a flash of her wand, Fairy Godmother brought them all down to earth with a bump. From my tower I see most things, she said. I see little reason for any of you to enter my test to get into the school of nine wishes this year. Felicity's heart sank as she realised she'd let her friends down. Felicity, I have seen that you have natural talents that you that show themselves even when you don't realise, continued the fairy godmother. Your tests may have been a little mixed up, but you managed to sparkle in all of them. Felicity's cheeks went as pink as her dress. None of you need to enter the test tomorrow because thanks to Felicity and friendship, each of you has already passed, smiled the fairy godmother. The next day, magical fairies all over Little Blossoming opened their invitations to attend the School of Nine Wishes, except four fairy friends who'd already opened theirs. <laughs>